Hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll actually be able to see there, um, the US 30 has uh, had a slight relief rally uh, kind of overnight, having come down a fair amount, smashing through the 21 period SMA uh, during yesterday's incredibly volatile session. Um, but we have managed to get quite close to potential resistance at 69.69 and uh, obviously the markets came off quite strongly yesterday as kind of news filtered out of Europe that a Portuguese bank, uh, Banco Esperanto Esperito, uh, has got a lot of um, uh, kind of family uh, debt issues or they've got a lot of exposure to some risky assets causing a 20% drop in Portugal's biggest lender and uh, was the ripples of that were a catalyst for, for big moves and uh, big downwards moves in banks and insurance companies right across Europe yesterday which then also impacted Wall Street. Now what we also had is a double whammy of really low industrial production coming out of loads of European uh, centres yesterday uh, which caused big jumps in, uh, in gold, lots of yen buying, safe haven aspects and obviously that big sell off in equities. Now what I can see US markets bounce back strongly. European markets, well, Germany 30 in particular, are looking rather weak this morning. So we'll have a look at that in just a second. So this is a level to, to have a look at on the uh, on the US 30. Definitely stronger than the European indices. S&P 500, uh, SPX 500, sorry, and US 30 actually recovering quite strongly from yesterday's broad sell-off. Looking at the UK 100, it was looking like a right dog's breakfast at the start of the session. We we're actually trading below 6666, but we managed to get back up above there. We're in between two ranges, but we are not out of the woods yet. The product I really want to show you is Germany 30, which has not recovered uh, really that much at all. Uh, it's looking uh, particularly weak. There's actually quite a few chart forum updates we've done here the last couple of days. Um, let me just make that go full screen. This is a really aggressive sell off that we had here. Now we're slap banging in the middle of ranges. Uh, 94.25 is the next longer term potential support. Potential resistance remains at 97.89. Uh, Germany 30 is going to be uh, in focus uh, today. I think that's where you're going to get a little bit of volatility if we do begin to see uh, a sell-off in any of the markets. I am seeing a little bit of growth in the US markets that might just drag everything else up, but do keep your eye on that throughout today's session. So Japan 225 hasn't really been feeling the love because of all that yen buying. Uh, we did get a, an eventual break of that uh, Isidane Triangle formation. Uh, it's almost perfect from a technical analysis perspective. We got that big breakout. It went down to potential support at 14.977, only to bounce back up. And if you notice there, we've stopped dead on the broken trend line, the broken potential trend line, which I think is very interesting. Now, looking at uh, dollar yen and euro yen, they're in the middle of a range right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if towards the end of the session with everything that's happening over in the <laughs> Middle East right now with Israel on, on the Gaza Strip and um, the lack of any economic data and obviously heading into the weekend, I wouldn't be that massively surprised if there was pressure on equities and um, you know potentially a little bit more uh, gold and yen buying towards the end of the session. But we need to see how the rest of the session transpires because we are looking a little bit more bullish this morning. So um, keep your eye on those, on those markets. I think they'll be very interesting. So looking at dollar yen in a little bit more detail, um, we firmly broke through 101 spot 35 yesterday. We actually went all the way down to about 101 spot 08. Uh, it's actually 100 spot 80 is the next potential support. Uh, and I think that's something that people need to be looking at. If, if you are a believer that there's fear in the markets right now and that there are there's a lot of pressure out there, then people should be looking at uh, yen, they should be looking at gold. If you're on the opposite direction, you think you know this is only short term, that US earnings are going to be particularly good, then keep your eye on the indices. You know, the US 30 is uh, certainly performing a lot better than some other markets out there. So uh, lots of uh, interesting indicators out there. Look at gold, look at yen, that'll tell you exactly what's going on. So moving on to crude oil, West Texas, it's been very volatile the last couple of sessions as ever. Uh, and this is why I really love technical analysis with a breakout, breakdown uh, on uh, Wednesday. We had a reversal right back up yesterday and Thursday. Look where it stops, bang on 103. And what we're doing again today, we are resuming the downwards move. So it looks to be that 103 is a potential resistance in the short term. And that'll be a very interesting uh, level to look at uh, over the next couple of days. So moving on to gold, gold had its uh, breakout above 1332, smashed it actually, but then gave up some of the gains as the relief rally kicked in for equities. And people kind of really kind of realized that a small amount uh, uh, a minor European bank in Portugal is not the end of the world, but it is, it is a catalyst for other big moves. We are now above 1332. That is the next potential um, broken resistance now expected to act as potential support. Okay, so this could be the springboard for a move up to 1362 if a bit of that fear returns. Okay, so we'll see um, how that 
continues on throughout today. So Euro dollar continuing its move back down. That is a little bit unfortunate to be fair, but um, with all those industrial production figures in Europe, just really disappointing yesterday. It's not a massive surprise. Um, resistance at one spot, uh, 36.45 has held. Um, we are showing long legged candles along the bottom of these areas right here. So uh, that's indicative of at least some buying interest when we get close to one spot, 35.68. In the middle of two ranges right now, I'm not too bothered about Euro dollar. And GBP USD has slipped a little bit as well on the back of that disappointing UK data that came out. Um, we were unable to breach one spot, uh, 71.84. Uh, we're looking a little bit weak just now, a little bit of pressure on there. It's not that that decent. So um, if you're interested in FX, keep an eye on dollar yen, euro yen, that type of stuff. So there's no economic data out today. I've had to fast forward onto, th onto Monday, which will be the 14th. Nothing really that exciting. Let's go into Tuesday. Then you've got some, uh, some CPI data from the UK and uh, RPI data as well, which will be good for, for cable. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Look at insights for updates from our global analyst team and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.